Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Video Game Kingdom. This is King Gunner, and we got Bird here with us. And we are proceeding with um, Dynasty Mode on uh, NCAA 14. This is our Let's Play for that. We got the Penn State Nittany Lions, who we have chosen to be to try to get them out of their whole, you know, child molestation thing and try to bring them back up to some prominence. So, what we're going to do is we're going to immediately set up. Before we start our season, we are going to set up our recruiting board. We've pretty much been setting everything up already. We got our players out there, and we're going to set up our recruiting board. So let's keep it moving. Let's go. We already got our prospects. Skip to recruiting. All right, now they're getting some shit done, generating prospects. We pretty much know what we need. We've done our red shirts. We uh, pretty much we pretty much know where we're at, and. Um, like we mentioned before, you know, with what has recently went on with Penn State, it's time to bring them back to prominence. Neither one of us are Penn State fans, yeah. so this should be definitely some fun things. Um, definitely some fun, you know, fun stuff to do. So what we're going to do here is we got to look at our, we got to look for our targets. What we'll do is we'll do all prospects, see if any of the top prospects have a target on us, if they want us. All right, we got. We have Bird Jones, who does not seem to want us, but we are going to target him and King Gunner. Those are us two. We are definitely going for it. They both want to play for Notre Dame. Both of them want to play for Notre Dame. Then we got Schmidt, middle linebacker. We're going to go ahead and target him. Definitely want to go for the five-star or anybody that wants us. We definitely want to go for them. No question about it. Don't want to pick. See, we don't have a lot of the top 50 that want us. But we got to go for it. Got to go ahead and get them. We, Tommy Powell, halfback, wouldn't mind having five stars, four stars. We're going all the way down through the five stars and four stars because that's what we want. Obviously, we want the best talent we can find. Yeah. So we'll go for them. All the way down to the threes. Oh, we got a cornerback up there. He's interested. We got another wide receiver. We could do our. Got another halfback. Some solid guys here. Got a guard, nice offensive lineman. We'll take him. Another tight end out there. It's a possibility. Maybe him as a tight end. That guy, B. Cox, already said, fuck us. Asshole. What a loser. Yeah. He is. Outside linebacker, definitely. Rivero's asshole. In the, what an asshole. All right, we got another cornerback. Bishop, Bishop's an asshole. Another tackle. And this guy really wants his athletic first. Taking. Gotta love the athletic ones that it can play in multiple positions. Nice defensive tackle. The ones that target us and want us. Good chance for us to get him. Got a nice defensive end. Three safety. For the, for the lower guy. Defensive tackle. Four stars are good. Five stars and four stars is what we are after. So, okay, we're down to the three. So we can go ahead and go on back up. Now we need to think about what it is that we need. So let's go ahead and go all, scroll all the way back up to the top here. As you can see, we went pretty deep. We got a pretty good amount of recruitments, 23 already. And now we need to look at the things we need. Let's see here. Okay, so. Quarterback. Quarterback, we pretty much are going for Bird. Uh, we'll go ahead and go for number 78 on the ranking list. Sheldon Thomas, we'll put him on our list. Halfbacks. We did get a few halfbacks in there, so I, we didn't really necessarily need it. Fullbacks. We have no fullbacks. Get the best guy out there. You know what? They're all threes. Let's go with him, because he, he wants to already play for us. So let's consider that. Don't need any wide receivers. We already got a couple that we've looked at, I believe. Tight ends. Um, we've already got a couple tight ends we've looked at. Tackles. We do need right tackles and right guards. So, man, that three, what was his rating? 71. We got a 79. Let's go ahead and go for 79 there. Need some guards. 77s. 
Let's go for it. Let's go for Harvey. Yeah, centers. Do we need any centers? I don't think so. Uh, so we're going to defensive ends. He looks 82. We got to try for the 82. Got to try for the 82. Defensive tackle, 79. We do need a defensive tackle. So let's go ahead and go for Roger Jensen. See what we can do here. Outside linebacker. We got a couple that we've went after. We need middle linebackers, though. You know what? He's an 80. Let's go for it. Middle linebackers, we got three of them that we're looking at. All, oh, and we, uh, I think there's a good chance we can get one. Let's just throw another one in there just in case. Let's see, cornerbacks. We don't really need cornerbacks. Free safeties. We definitely, we already got one we're looking at down there, as you can see. Um, we'll put one on there just for the hell of it. Strong safety. Um, we do need a strong safety. Poland's interested, you know what, we'll go for it. We'll also go for Rod Tate, and now we need a punter. Ooh, this is going to be ugly. He's an 83, though. All right. With that being said, some of them athletes would probably be good to have. But, you know, with this all said, I think we got our recruitment class, and I think this is where we're going to go. So let's go ahead, and we've added 35 prospects to the recruitment board. Now let's go on up here to the recruitment board. We got to do some scouting. Yeah. Okay, we got Bird Jones. We can scout him, but we don't really need to scout him or Gunner. We know who they are. They know who they are. So with that being the case, oh, shit. No, I don't want to do that. All right, top schools, prospect overview, bonus points. Don't need any bonus points. All right, scouting. We could scout. Oh, no, no. Shit. I don't know if we should scout or not. I don't, I don't think we should scout us two. You need to uh, give them reasons for um Right, but we don't have the ability to do that yet. We oh. So we don't have the ability to really do anything. We're not even in an option for them. So we're, what we'll have to do is once this all goes down... We'll have to give them points. We, we still don't have an uh, opportunity to do that. Okay, this is scout just scouting. Oh. So, we'll scout the guys. That okay, we'll scout the guys that are down here to see. What we'll do is we'll scout. Okay, there we go. We'll scout him. He stayed this. Oh, he went He went down over one. Oh. Then we got Jason. Oh, I don't think we can use any more. Okay, Jason Alexander, we'll scout him. He went down two. Mike Robinson. He stayed the same. Halfback Ricky Christian. He stayed the same. Tommy Powell. He stayed the same. Blake Martinez. He stayed. Oh, he went up one. Derek McLaurin. Stayed the same. He went up two. He went up one. Brandon Banks. He went up three. Kevin Massey, decent guard here. He stayed the same. And he went up one. Tony Murray. He went up one. Gabriel Baker. Up one. Tyree Reed. Stayed the same. Blake Newsom. Down one. Bill Glover. Stayed the same. Ricky Randall, down one. Kevin Thomas, down one. Luther Hill, down two. Jason Morales, no points. We're out of points. So okay. With that being the set, with that being the case, this is just preseason scouting. So that's all we can do. That's all we can do at this stage. Indeed. So let's go out of here. Auto save and process. Okay, we now know we got everything. Got our recruitment board done. And what we will do is we will hit the start button because we're going to have to scout in here. All events, similar point. All right, basically we'll go start. So it's advancing now. Setting up recruitment boards, filling them out. Yeah.
Not too bad. What are the What's the Penn State's team name? Nittany Lions. Nittany. Nittany Lions. Oh, Nittany. Yes. Okay. And the the all right the recruiting board is setting up on our way to that regular season. Oh, so. I was just right there the whole time. I feel like an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> it was. <laughs> You know, what's the name? <laughs> oh, that's good. Playing time, red, removing red shirt and players, starting football season, processing recruits, progressing recruits, excuse me. Yes, Get, yes. Getting this baby started, collecting stories for NCAA news. We need to check that out. Probably talking about the Heisman and all that. All oh, that. yeah. The, the, pre, the preseason favorites. Oh yeah, baby. Auto save in process. Whoa. Okay, so we know where we're at. Our first game is against SU, against Syracuse. Oh. We got recruiting that we still have to do. And now. they just lost their boy from that quarterback. They did. To the NFL. All right, let's check out the NCAA. Oh, we don't want to look at it. Okay. Yeah, this is where we want to go. ESPN Sports Highlights. Is that where we're at? Okay. Share your best moments. ESPN. Okay, that's not what we want to do. Okay, this is not what Are we want to do. Are you looking for news? No, stats and records. We don't want to do that. I see. Team management gives a chance to recruiting plan. Uh, we may want to take a look at that. ESPN is where we want to go. All right. So top stories. Any team traveling to Athens will have their work cut out for them. As you see, Georgia is doing well. Hatfields and McCoy. Clemson's confident. they got a rival, a huge rivalry game there. We will look at each of the major games, the schedule each week. That's something we will there do. There are no cupcakes here. <laughs> <laughs> no. Anyway, there's no real stories going on right now, so what we'll look at preseason polls. Let's check them out. Alabama has to be. Alabama number one, Ohio State. You see it right here, top ten. Of course, we're not in there. Well, I bet we're not even ranked. No, we're probably not ranked. Of course we're not. Nope, not in the top 25. Okay. Which is where it matters. Yeah, top 25 is all that matters. Conference outlook. I don't know what the hell a conference outlook means, but we're going to look at it anyway. All okay. of each one. Okay, there we go. Not a bad conference. The Big Ten is no joke. Ohio State and Wisconsin. Definitely a problem. Heisman watch. Let's look at what they're looking at here. Oh, they got our guy on there. I think. Oh, no, it's not. All right. No, uh, as you can see here. Not too bad. Texas A&M, that must be, Chris Lane must be uh, Johnny, Manziel. Johnny Manziel. Bama, uh, Cameron Montgomery is um, A.J. McCarron. A.J. McCarron. Ohio State, Markel Harris is. Oh, the, um, I forgot his name. I did too. But oh, he is really good. Yep. Okay. Let's see if we have any uh, preseason All-Americans for Penn State. Probably not. Except for our middle linebacker. Uh, no, we have no preseason on the first team. Check out the second team. I don't see anything so far. Nope. No preseason All-Americans for us. We'll show them. Oh, well. Definitely show them. Okay. With that all said, let's look at the week one schedule. See if we got any good games to get things started. Penn State, we got Syracuse. And the neutral site game is a neutral site game. Yeah. Okay, then we got. God, these teams suck. A lot of the teams we see this week suck. Yep. Texas Tech plays. Oh, not really. UMass at Wisconsin. Oh. Buffalo at Ohio State. Everybody's getting easy games to start off. Uh. Everybody, we got Oregon down there, West Virginia. So we got, yep, Oregon. It's uh, get, got a, Everybody's got a fucking easy, easy schedule. The first, there's no major games. No, let's see. Do they have a game of the week? Do they have a game? Yep, Georgia at Clemson is the game of the week. Uh, Huge game. Agreed. Five and number nine. Well, we're gonna go ahead and make a prediction on this one. I'm going with Georgia. I go with Clemson. Upset. Absolutely. Absolutely. And with that said, we are going to simulate that game. 
Bam. And Georgia pulls oh. out the victory over Clemson in a very close game. Clemson almost came back. Almost came back. All right, so we got that game done. That's a nice game, LSU and TCU. Let's go ahead and check it out. I pick LSU. I got I got LSU, too. Shit. So every week, are we just going to um, do yeah. the prediction for... Yeah, we're going to look at the top oh, 25 teams. TCU was a huge upset over the LSU Tigers. LSU season's over. Mm-hmm. One loss can pretty much end you in here. You, everybody knows that. So with that being said, we've looked at the, the top games of the week. We've already seen them. Well, we can see them in our game. And so with that being the case, we'll go back here. We'll go look. Now we got to do our um, recruiting. Oh, yeah. So, oh, yeah. we got to go check it out. Recruiting board. You know how shit goes. We can offer – we're obviously offering a scholarship right oh, off – Oh, you're the, number seven. And I'm number seven on ours. We're going to offer scholarships to us right off the jump. Now, we're also going to go max with our guys right off the jump. That's not even a question. Um, let's look at the different things that could be done. Scout 25 – Sent for 50 points, which we've already done. This prospect has not yet express, expressed interest. So, we got a way to go. we got a way to go. All right, now let's go ahead and we're only 210 points behind on this one. So, what we're going to do is we are going to offer scholarships to the people that we want. Um, we know we, you know, I don't want to offer any scholarships to the linebackers. Uh, yet, because middle linebacker, because oh. obviously we want you know we want us. So now, yeah. so we'll, we will recruit him though. We will definitely recruit him. Now we got Michael Pollard. Nice. He wants to come. Anyway. He wants to come anyway. So we'll do a hundred for him, and we'll offer. Well, we'll do fifty for him, and yeah. offer a scholarship. Jason Alexander, a nice middle linebacker. We'll do some recruiting for, him, but not scholarship. He wants to come, so yeah, we're gonna give him 50 and a scholarship. Kevin Thomas, he wants to come. I like him. Got a f- four star though. All right, Gabriel Baker, outside linebacker, take him. Definitely no question. We'll offer him a scholarship. Jason Morales, beautiful. We'll open, offer him a scholarship. Brett Starks. He's up, he's back there a little bit, so we'll give him some points and offer him a scholarship. Mike Robinson looks good. We'll offer him some points and a scholarship. Nice Andre guy. Smith, we definitely need a fullback. We have none. Scholarship offered. Tight end, looking good. 78. Offer him a scholarship. Jason and he, Brandt. And he's actually one that wants to come. We'll offer him some. We ain't going to offer him a scholarship yet. Tyree Reed, four stars, offer him a scholarship. Bring Darren that Eaton, here. offer him a scholarship. Rob Harvey, ah, oh, we're back quite a bit with him, but we'll go for it and offer him a scholarship. Kevin Massey, oh, these none of these guards look like they're interested yet. Rod Tate, strong safety. We definitely want him. He's a 79. So we're going in a little hard for him. Offer him a scholarship. Nice tackle. 79. We need these guys. Roger Jensen. We definitely could use them. A nice defensive tackle. Offer a scholarship. Brandon Banks. Uh, We'll do that and offer a scholarship. Uh, we'll offer him. We're not gonna offer him a scholarship yet. Punter, we want him. Offer him a scholarship too. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and offer him a scholarship. We're way behind. Troy that. Jones, we are way behind on that punter. Fifty, we'll get a bonus and we'll offer him a scholarship. Mike Stewart at free safety, we're gonna oh, offer yeah. him some serious dough and a scholarship. Yeah, we got money to pay these college students. Yeah, you know the deal. We're going to slip them a little bit of cash. Absolutely. Bill Glover, athletic, four-star. He already wants to be with us, so we'll offer him a scholarship. yes, folk, we would bribe young college. Absolutely. 
get him Tommy Powell he wants to be here so why not let him defensive end 82 overall five star we're going all in for him I don't know why he's so low on the list yeah it's not like we're gonna go back and offer him a scholarship we're gonna get the points available though we're pretty behind on him though We'll offer Tony Murray a scholarship. James Willis, another middle linebacker. We can just offer some points, but we can't offer him a scholarship yet. Ricky Randall. All right, Sheldon Williams, we're not even going to mess with yet because uh, we got other shit. Okay, we did our recruiting here. Not bad. Not Pretty good. Bad. And so what we'll do right off the jump is we will look into week one here. See if we can beat Syracuse. Absolutely. So what we'll do is we'll go into our schedule. And what we're going to do is we're just going to play the bowl games. We're what we do is uh, what we will simulate the season. We'll play the conference championships and bowl games in any major games that need to be played. That way you guys don't have to watch us play every game all season. And we can kind of go forward and, and recruit and do and do the things that so many of us love to do. Because like, no one wants to see Syracuse versus Penn State. Right. So here we, here's what we're going to do. Right, here we go. Syracuse, Penn State. Can we do it? Oh, actually, what we're going to do. I like I like it better when it goes like this. Hold on just a second. Oh, I know what you're doing. What we'll do is we'll advance the week. All right. So we're gonna, we've already did our recruiting. We're going to advance a week to where we play EMU. Here we go. In our first week, we play as, we won 38-21, decisive victory. We are 1 and 0, baby. We are 1 and 0. Unlike the who lost the TC? Oh, unlike LSU. Unlike where? LSU. We have a better record than LSU. Sorry about you, LSU. But we are the we Louisiana are, State University. We are going to be the Big 10 champs. Yes. That's almost, we we should be able to handle this Big 10. If we could beat Wisconsin at the end of the year, that'd be huge. Yep, Big Ten football though, it's it's big. Ohio State obviously is the ones that we're, we're the game we're looking the most forward to, beating Ohio State. Oh, if we can beat Ohio State, that'd be huge. Ohio State, I think, is number two in the country right now. They are. One of the best. Gunner Bird is now level two. Look at that. Winning our first game. We won a game. Oh. Went at a neutral site. We got some points here. And all the saves and pro progress as we move on to next week, we're there. Uh, we're there. So yeah, it, you we got it. We got it. We can add to our coach tree. We can add uh, something here. So what we, we could do game management this time. All right. Let's see. All right. What are we gonna do here? Any freeze? Uh, ice the kicker does not work against you. Or road warrior shine on the ward. Yeah. Hell yeah. Our quarterback shine on the road. Let's do that. Yes. There we go. So that we're done with that. We've already upgraded our, our coach. The only thing we can do until our offensive coordinator and defensive coordinator improve. All right. With that being said, we saw what happened. Top twenty-five polls. Oregon right lost too. Oregon lost to the little to those uh little pirate dudes. Hold on. What the hell did happen? See? Oregon fans are already dreaming the next year. They lost. Oh my God. Oregon loses. Of course, we saw that big game. We got some big games coming here. We're going to be looking at that in the Heisman watch after week one. Let's see if anything's... Johnny Manziel. Right now, Johnny Manziel is looking at... Or Chris Lane, whatever you want to call him. He's looking like the man here that, that everybody's looking out for. So, nothing really changed with the Heisman watch. Okay, now we'll look at the schedule for this next coming week. Check it out. See if we got any big games here. Look for the star games. Look for anything of new. Of course, we got Eastern Michigan. Just kind of curious, what is Eastern Michigan's record? They are 1-0. Oh. Yeah, one. beating Penn State, baby. Yeah, 1-0. and oh. Okay, we're looking for the, 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 the star, the game of the week. See if we've got any big games this this week. Florida at Miami. That's a big game. Number seven, Florida, Florida at Miami. I think Florida. Yeah, Florida's probably taking this. 
And they Florida did. does take it in overtime. It was, Miami almost was able to pull it out. And the, Hur- and, and the Gators are now 2-0. and All right, we move forward. Florida's pretty good shit, though. Florida's good shit. Uh, okay, as we scroll down, we got LSU going to try to beat. We're going to... Oregon at Virginia, that's a big game. West Virginia at Oklahoma, South Carolina at Georgia. We got a rivalry game, huge game right here. I'm going with Georgia. Georgia's going to cream them. South Carolina's pretty good, though. So let's oh, check yeah, it out. They got, uh, they got J- Clowney. Yeah. And Georgia Ge- fucked them up. Blew them out. That South Carolina defense gave up 52 points. Oklahoma. And West Virginia. I got West Virginia. I got Oklahoma. I got West Virginia with an upset. And Oklahoma blew them out. 38 10. Big game for Oklahoma. Oregon at Virginia. This is a big game. I don't care whether they got whether Oregon got a loss or not. I think Virginia will win. I think I think Oregon's taking this. And Virginia pulls the win. Oregon is 0-2, ladies and gentlemen. Can you believe that shit? Alright, as we move forward, Notre Dame at Michigan, the game of the week. Number six, Notre Dame. Notre Dame. And then win. after that, we got Texas and BYU. We got some big games. I got uh, Notre Dame. I'm going with Notre Dame, of course. Yep. Notre Dame with the big win. Big, dominant win. 2-0. I think Texas. Oh, wins. Texas is going to take it. It's a big game, though. National broadcast game. Texas wins by 10. Texas is looking good. As we continue to scroll down, that's pretty much it. Okay, so we can leave the schedule. And we can go to our shit. And uh, let's see if we had any injuries last week. We need to always keep our keep our eyes on our injuries. See if we got any major win. Our quarterback, he's down for two weeks with a sprained elbow. That kind of sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Because now we have to use our backups. At least our backups aren't that well, worse than him. They're right. Like two yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, they all suck. Anyways. <laughs> They're all equally sucky. They all equally ain't shit. All right. <laughs> <laughs> now, as we move it, we got to put some recruiting points. Okay. So, we'll keep those at 500. Indeed. And, and we're definitely getting in deep here. It's causing a problem. How um, do we get them better? I just got to keep putting points into it. But we got to go down here. All right, let's see here. Let's see. Okay, scholarship offer. No Is there one. anything else we can do to make them more wanting to come? Um, Not really. Not until they they, they want to visit. That's all we can do is have them visit? Yep. Visit scheduled. Ready for visit zero. Team needs 12. No scholarships. Seven. Seven people do not have scholarships. Uh, Fifteen people not scouted. Maybe we should start scouting some people. Um, besides us. Besides us. All right, let's go ahead and check them out. Okay, maybe we should get some scouting in. And they're going up. Oh, he went up. We gotta do this before while we still got money or points to scout. We went up by five. That fullback. That's good. We need that motherfucker. And we'll look at Sheldon Thomas. Ooh, he went down five. That quarterback sucks. All right. His accuracy sucks. We made us keep our quarterback. Not scouted. Who the hell is not scouted? Us two. Right, but there was a third person. Oh, there's three. There we go. Jordan Lewis, the punter. Good. He stayed the same. Oh shit. Good. Okay, we gotta get some points out here and figure out what the hell we're gonna do here. Let's look at our needs. Tweet team needs. We got twelve. Okay, Poland. Uh, let's give him some more points, I guess. Strong safety. J- uh, Jason Alexander, give him some. All right, we don't. We didn't really need. To, okay, Jason Alexander is 760. We're losing points fast with him. 
but I don't really. All these guys that are middle linebackers, we're starting to miss out on. All right, we need him badly. Definitely need him. So let's put in some points. Jeff Whitaker, need him. Put in some more points. Andre Smith, we definitely need him. Let's put in some points. We have no damn fullbacks. Mike Stewart, free safety. Definitely want him. Jordan Lewis, too. Jordan Lewis. Damn, these people are kind of doing this dirty, <laughs> dirty horse. <laughs> We're filthy. All right, let's get on out of here. The training house like whores. All right, and what we're going to do is we're going to do finish up week two and then the, the, to finish off this episode. So let's go ahead and go on back and let's check out this week. All right, here we go. We got Eastern Michigan, Penn State. Eastern Michigan. Next up we got UCF. Ass. Here we go. Do we get the big 34-17? We are 2-0, and baby, with a huge win. That is right. Doing the thing, Penn State 2-0, doing what we do. So that's some big news, definitely for us, ladies and gentlemen. And we'll come back, you know, in our next episode, look at everything like we typically do. If you guys like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe. This is a new series, this NCAA. We hope you guys enjoy it. If you guys got any suggestions, feel free. If you guys would like to... Give us your name and want us to put you in the recruitment class for next year. Also, let us know that. We'll put you. You can have your own person in there. So we'll put you in there, and we'll see what we do from here. Anyway, guys, we thank you guys so much, and we'll see you next episode.